In this video tutorial, as part of the process for connecting a Hikvision IP camera to a PC using the IVMS 4200 client software, we will demonstrate how to install an SD card into the camera and configure the recording schedule for continuous 24-7 recording. Ensure that the camera is powered off to avoid any electrical issues or potential damage during the installation of the SD card. The SD card slot on Hikvision cameras is typically found at the bottom or side of the camera. Refer to your camera's manual for specific details about its location. To access the SD card slot, use a starhead screwdriver to unscrew and open the SD card slot cover. This step is necessary as many Hikvision cameras have a protective case around the SD card slot for security and protection purposes. First, Look closely at the SD card slot for a small marking or indicator showing the correct orientation of the SD card. Typically, there will be a diagram or label near the slot to guide you. Ensure that the metal contacts of the SD card face downward toward the slot's connection points. The camera supports storage up to 512GB, which can provide up to one week of recording, depending on video quality, environmental conditions, and the recording schedule you configure. Gently push the SD card into the slot, making sure it aligns with the markings. If it does not go in easily, do not force it. To eject the card, simply push again, and it should pop out. Once the card is inserted, it should click into place. Many Hikvision cameras have a spring-loaded mechanism that secures the SD card once it is pushed in. Finally, Replace the protective cover over the SD card slot and screw it back into place using a starhead screwdriver to secure the slot cover. By following these steps, you can properly insert the SD card into your Hikvision camera, ensuring secure operation for video recording and storage. Once the SD card is properly installed, power on the camera. As shown in the previous video, you can use the method discussed to communicate with your PC. For Hikvision IP cameras, the first-time configuration requires initialization, which includes formatting the SD card and setting up the recording mode and schedule. To configure the camera, open the IVMS 4200 software, as demonstrated in this video series. The IVMS 4200 software allows you to easily manage the camera settings and recording features. Alternatively, you can also configure the camera via a web browser. This method will be explained in another part of the video series. In the IVMS 4200 software, navigate to the Device Management section. Here, you should see the camera you have previously added listed in the first table. Make sure the status of the camera is displayed as Online. Once you confirm this, click the Remote Configuration icon corresponding to the camera in the list. After selecting the Remote Configuration option, choose Basic Settings. This will open the camera's configuration page in a new pop-up window, where you can adjust settings such as recording mode, schedule, and more. On the pop-up screen, navigate to the configuration section and select the common settings page. Under the time settings menu, you can configure the date and time for your IP camera. You have two options for setting the time. Manual entry, Enter the date and time manually based on your requirements. This option is useful if you need a specific time setting different from your computer's time. Sync with computer. Select this option to automatically synchronize the camera's date and time with your computer's current settings. This ensures the camera's timing aligns with your system. Accurate time configuration is essential for maintaining proper recording schedules and log synchronization. To configure the installed SD card on your Hikvision camera, follow these steps. Access the Storage menu, navigate to the Storage menu in the Configuration interface. Check SD card status, under the HDD Management section, locate the installed SD card in the list. Here, you can view details such as capacity, free space, type, and status. If the status displays uninitialized or the free space shows as zero, the SD card needs formatting. Initialize the SD card, select the SD card from the list and click the Format icon located at the top of the list. This process will initialize the SD card, making it ready for use as storage for your recordings. 
Formatting the SD card ensures it is properly configured for the camera and ready to store recordings and other data effectively. Once the formatting process is completed, the SD card status will change to the normal in the HDD management section. Additionally, the free space will update to reflect the actual available storage based on your SD card's capacity. This indicates that the SD card is successfully initialized and ready to be used for storing video recordings and other data from the camera. Finally, configure the recording mode and schedule in the Schedule Settings menu. This allows you to customize how the camera records based on your specific requirements. You can set the camera to record continuously, ensuring uninterrupted 24-7 monitoring for maximum security and peace of mind. Alternatively, you can opt for motion-based recording. This mode helps conserve storage space by triggering recordings only when motion is detected. Under the Schedule Settings menu, there are two options available, record schedule and picture capture. To configure video recording, select the record schedule option. This is where you can set your camera to record either continuously or based on motion detection, as per your requirements. This ensures that your video footage is captured and stored efficiently. The picture capture option, which is used for capturing images instead of video, will be explained in another part of this video series for further clarity. Toggle the record schedule option to activate it. This feature allows you to define specific recording times and modes. For continuous recording, select the continuous button and drag it across the timeline bar for each desired day of the week. The timeline is divided into 24 segments, representing the hours of the day. Adjust the recording duration according to your preferences. If you prefer motion detection recording, Select the Motion Detection option and drag it across the timeline for specific days. You can also use the Erase option to clear the configured schedule if needed. Motion-based recording requires that motion detection or line crossing rules be configured under the event page, which is accessible via the browser interface. For ease and reliability, continuous recording is typically recommended when using the IVMS software. Ensure the Overwrite option is enabled to allow the system to overwrite the oldest recordings automatically when the storage is full. Once your recording schedule is set, click the Save button to apply and confirm the settings. This ensures that your camera records efficiently according to your selected preferences. To view recorded footage on the IVMS 4200 software, Right-click on the camera's live stream and select Switch to Instant Playback. You will then be able to choose the desired time to view the playback instantly. This feature is helpful for quickly checking specific moments in your recordings. For a more detailed search, go to Remote Playback and select the camera you wish to view footage from. Click on the calendar icon to choose the date you want to review. The recorded dates will be marked in the top corner of the screen, indicating when recordings are available. You can then use the timeline to navigate through the recordings of that specific date, making it easy to find and view the footage you need. With the IVMS 4200 client software, you can access a variety of advanced features beyond just live view and playback. These functionalities, such as motion detection configuration, event management, and camera settings, will be covered in greater detail in upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more tutorials to maximize the potential of your Hikvision camera system. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps us create more valuable content and share resources with our audience. Thank you.